Two, Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Three, how to bind in Virabhadrasana two with extended side angle. And our final video in this series will be how to come into bird of paradise. Now, one thing that I didn't really mention too much in our previous videos is you always have the option to use a strap. So I'm just gonna show you quickly with Laura how you can use a strap in this pose. And specifically, Bird of Paradise, it gets harder to bind when you start to come into the actual pose. So you can always back it off, grab onto a shirt, grab onto a strap, um, and know that that's always an option for you. And remember, you have your inner teacher inside of you. So listen to your inner teacher. Stop when you need to stop. Go when you need to go. But you have to listen to yourself. We don't want to be injured. We want to practice today so we can practice 90 years from now. So Laura's going to come into Virabhadrasana two-footing. Perfect. And she's going to come into extended side angle, Parsvakonasana. And then she's going to move into her bind. Now, I'm going to give her her strap here. So when she comes into the bind, she'll hold onto one end of the strap, reach her bottom arm through, grab onto the other side of the strap, and then from here, you can straighten this arm if you want. There you go. And she's going to and then she's going to be able to turn the side of her heart up. Now, Laura's just going to demo here what we don't want to see with a bind. So from here, she's going to release the strap, she's going to grab onto her hands, and she's going to turn her chest down. Just so she can grab onto her hands. See? See how much more she can grab onto her hands here? But what happens here? So what happens to you? What do you have to give up into a pose to get into the full pose? We want to do it properly, we want to do it correct. So Laura is going to back off of the hands a little bit so she can actually turn her heart up to the sky. All right, so we're going to now move into Bird of Paradise. So Laura's going to take her gaze down to her right foot, her front foot. She's going to turn onto the ball of her back foot and she's going to walk it in to the front of her mat. This takes a lot of effort here. She's just still binding, but this comes to the point where she might have to Go back to how she's binding. She might have to revisit that and bind a different way, which is totally fine. Now, see how her right knee is propped up? That's perfect. So Laura's going to press down through her standing leg, her left leg. She's binding the hands. Her right arm is underneath her right leg. And she's pulling the right knee in. She's going to drop her right hip down, press through all four corners of her left leg, pull the shoulder blades together, soften, Reassess where she needs to be with her bind. She wants to put the oomph in it, but she wants to be a bit passive at the same time. And then she'll start to extend her right leg out, straightening it. Beautiful, and coming into the full posture. Laura's now going to show us from a front view of what the pose looks like. So she's going to bend into the legs, find the bind. Chest is open, heart is shining, that necklace is shining bright. Press down through the standing leg. Straighten the front, the, her top leg, her right leg reaches up to the sky and into the full pose. So there you have it. Bird of Paradise, beautifully done by our demo Laura today. So what did you like? What do you like about this pose? What do you want to see? Comment, share, like, follow me on all of the social networks and enjoy.